everyone, so today I'm showing you guys a winter recipe and it's salted caramel chocolate brownies with cinnamon. So for ingredients you need sugar, uh, butter, whipping cream, salt, um, some chocolate chips, I just cut these up basically, um, some cocoa, vanilla extract, and then you're also going to need some flour, um, and some eggs. Then you're going to need uh, cinnamon, of course. So that's it for the ingredients. Now I'm going to be pouring my sugar. Um, and you're going to need one and one half cup. And the first thing we're going to be making is a caramel sauce. So you're first going to heat the this sugar in a medium saucepan, and you're just going to put it on medium heat until it um, starts to dissolve, basically. So you're just going to stir it. So then just go ahead and uh, set your oven to 350 degrees. That's what I'm doing here. And then I just went ahead and made my pan ready for when I'm totally done and I just lined that with some baking um, paper. So for the sugar, I'm just constantly like stirring this about every one minute. And then now I'm going to be uh, melting my chocolate. So you're going to need uh, one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I did it like this and just broke it up. And again, you're just going to be heating that on around like medium heat. Make sure not to burn it. And then you're also going to add the butter, so you're going to need 3 fourths cup of butter. So I'm just like stirring between these two and um, the butter and chocolate is for the main like brownies. And then I'm making the caramel sauce on the side, which we'll be putting um, on top. So yeah, I'm just doing that here for a while until both of those are finished. And I added more butter like as I went, so I added it slowly because there was a lot. So yeah. Okay, so for the caramel sauce, I went ahead and added butter to that as well. So you need um, six tablespoons of butter, so I stirred that in. And then I stirred in my whipping cream, which is one half cup. Um, when you put the butter in, you have to take it off of the heat and then put it back on when you put the whipping cream in. So again, I'm just stirring it here. Okay, so for our dry ingredients, I already put the sugar in. Again, you're just going to need one and one half cup. Now I'm putting my eggs in, so you're going to need three large eggs and one egg yolk. So I'm just mixing that all together and separating my yolk here and just putting that um, with the sugar. And then I'm just going to go ahead and be mixing the sugar and eggs together with a mixer um, to be kind of like uh, frosting, like like a really runny frosting kind of um, texture. So that's what it should be like when you're finished mixing these two together. It takes about like two to three minutes, so um, just be patient. Then I'm going to go ahead, ahead like in the middle and add my vanilla extract. So you're just going to need one teaspoon of this. And just putting that into the mix as well and just mixing it for about 30 seconds after that um, and yeah okay so once that's all mixed together we're going to start adding um, more ingredients so first we're going to go ahead and add our flour so you need three fourth um, cup of flour and I'm just slowly adding that in so it doesn't it's not too hard to mix together so I'm doing that here Um, then I'm going to be adding my cocoa powder. I'm going to put in one half cup of this and also just again kind of mix it in slowly. I'm also going to be adding some a little bit of cinnamon into it just to add a little bit of a fun like festive um, seasonings. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add in the chocolate and butter that we uh, heated up over um, on the stove. And I'm also just adding this in slowly like the other ingredients so it's not so hard to mix. And yeah, so I'm just doing that um, to finish it off. So now we're gonna go ahead and pour it into the pan that we prepared. So you're just gonna make uh, one like thin layer of this all over your pan. Um, and then I'll show you what to do next. So I'm just spreading that out. And then you're gonna go ahead and kind of make like a hole in the middle. Not completely a hole, but it's just gonna be a lot thinner than the rest of it. So it's kind of like a little crate in the middle, if that makes any sense, it's really weird. But this is, uh, why we're doing this is we're gonna be taking the caramel sauce we made and we're gonna be um, pouring about half of that into that little hole. Um, and once we do that, we're going to go ahead and cover it again with the rest of the brown mix. Um, and this make just is amazing because it like makes the caramel sauce go all like into the brownie inside. Okay, so when I'm finished that, I'm just going to go ahead and put it into the oven for about 38 to 40 minutes. So yeah, that's basically all I'm doing. And then I actually made two batches of this. Um, <laughs> I just want made two of these, but I'm just gonna be taking the one out that we've been making and um, I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a while until it cools down a little bit and then I'm gonna put the rest of the caramel sauce on top of it and oh my gosh, it's, it just tastes amazing. So 
yeah. And you can also add some salt on top of it to finish it off. I did that a little bit so it kind of ties all together. But that's pretty much it for this recipe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you make it. I always make, I make this all the time and I get a ton of compliments on it. It's one of my favorite things to make. But I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.